Everyone, my name is Keandra Johnson, and I am a bookkeeper and QuickBooks Pro Advisor with over 10 years in the financial and accounting industry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record potential customers in your QuickBooks Lead Center, track your interaction with your potential customer, convert those potential customers into new customers within QuickBooks, and generate a conversion report. Let's get started. From the home page, you're going to select the header menu, Company, and then Lead Center. This will bring you to the home page module for the Lead Center. You'll be able to see the contact information, the to-do list, all of the contact information, location and notes. You'll also be able to import the leads that you may already have in Excel by copying from each column and pasting in each column or manually putting that information in uh, for each line for each lead. From this screen you can also go into Excel and you can generate an Excel report for the list of contacts that you have, their status, and we'll talk about that a little later, and the conversion. For this purpose we're going to actually just add one lead and what you will do here is put in the company name of the lead that you're importing, that one lead. Um, and that can be, you know, anyone you've met through networking, etc. Then you're going to put their status. Are they a cold call type of lead? Are they a warm lead like networking? They're interested in what you have to do or say. Or are they a hot lead? They really want to work with you. They're just not a customer yet. From there, you're going to put in the company name information um, or that contact information for the company name the maybe the general company phone number um, for you know your lead purposes and then there are other types of information uh, that you can put in uh, such as their website information which is really good to have in case you want to do a little bit more research after your initial meeting uh, so you you know who you're talking to or what the company is about a, a email address to reach that potential client uh, or company and maybe like an alternative email address as well that information is good to have in case you need to CC anybody uh, within the process below you will see what's called locations so say that potential lead had multiple locations um, you can actually enter as many locations or mailing addresses or physical locations as you say for that lead uh, as possible and so you have access to them all um, as you can see I'm, I'm putting in the main office and and where that's located for the purposes of this tutorial. And again, it just makes it a lot easier. As you can see, um, you see required where I inputted that information. So what will happen is the drop down menu above, you'll be able to choose which location that you want to see or review. After that, you can just select Add Location, and you can add that second location, which that is what I'm putting in now. And I'm going to put in Second Office, so I know which one's the main office, which one's the second office. And, and for the purposes of this tutorial, I am actually only going to put in um, two. The next tab is for contact information. Now with that one, uh, as you can see, it's the primary contact. And what happens is, if this is the primary contact uh, for this particular lead company, then the name of that contact will um, show up as far as a drop-down list is concerned. 
and you can add as many contacts as you as contacts as you like. What I put in is you know work number, fax number, etc. And you can kind of go down the list. There's a drop down menu for each of these, and you can actually um, put in the LinkedIn information, Facebook, Twitter, Skype, website, just a whole host of information. So it's not just limited to the regular contact information that we've always been used to um, when generating a, a lead list. And as you can see, uh, you put down add new uh, contact and when you select that contact, everything kind of comes back up again. Okay. So now you want to track your interaction. As you can see, you have the to-do list, the contact, the location, and the notes information. Under the to-do tab, we're going to add a to-do item. What this is, is that any task that you need to do, whether it's calling that, particular, uh, that potential lead, or following up with them, or emailing them, etc. Uh, this part of the module allows you to record that information uh, so that you can keep up with the interaction uh, with that potential client or whatever else you need to do camp a marketing campaign wise in order to um, track you know what best worked for acquiring that potential customer and transitioning or converting them into a new customer and as you can see below they're active from there you want to bypass everything and go to notes when I say everything contact location information you want to go to notes and you can add uh, note information there this is a good um, part of the module because with the notes you can write down any discussions that you may have had regarding um, uh, what that client may need or any additional information and you can use that to track your history as far as conversation is concerned um, and, and tailor whatever you need to in order to acquire that client so you continue to do this um, repeat the process adding a task putting in notes and then you can go to editing editing a, a lead and you can change the status so that's that the status went from warm to hot because now that particular lead wants to work with you um, possibly and then you can go and edit each of your to do t uh, items as you go along and you can select them as done so you can see where your tasks are completed you can then pull a what's called a quick report and print it off if you'd like to of all your activity with that particular lead so it's very convenient So from there, say that person has decided they are going to become your client, which is you know great. All you have to do is select converting a client and select yes, and your client information or your lead information automatically makes them a, a customer or transfers them to the customer module. But keep in mind this is permanent. Once you convert, that's it. So now we're going to go back, or we've gone back to the lead uh, information center, and I've selected all leads, and you can see who's been converted. So now let's generate a conversion report. So uh, as I said before, you can go into Excel and there's different type of uh, reports that you can pull. And from this drop down menu, we're just going to simply select uh, conversion report. And you can see who's active lead and who's been converted into a new customer. And actually, that is all. So just to summarize this lesson, was to teach you how to track your potential customers within QuickBooks and by following this system you can track which marketing campaign best works for your company. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and it has uh, helped you gain more insight into the additional information that or additional uh, tools that can be used within QuickBooks other than just accounting. Please feel free to share this video and comment below. Thank you so very much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.